This is Algebra 1, Section 9.1, Adding and Subtracting Polynomials. Before we go to the next page, let's do a summary of what a degree is. As we learned on the last thing, we have some new terms. So let's go back to page 2, and let's make a little chart here in general for stuff. We have a degree, we'll call it 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5, and then here we'll call the name of that degree. A 0 degree is a constant. That's a number without a variable. Something with a degree of 1 is called linear. Something with degree 2 is called quadratic. Something with degree 3 is called cubic. Something with degree 4 is called quartic. But usually we just say fourth degree. And our last one is just fifth degree. And anything more than five or four for that matter is just that number and the degree. So a little summary of degree and the name that it's called. Those are very good terms to know as they'll be tested and evaluated later in the chapter. Now let's look at page three. Actually page five, which is our third page of this section. Here we're asked to add or subtract our terms together. Well, as we look at this, first we need to evaluate and say, we have a plus in between our parentheses, so we don't have to change any signs. I'm going to group our things where they're like. I'm going to first group my x squareds. Now I'm going to group my x's. And last, I'll group my numbers. Now let's combine them together. That's 7x squared plus a negative 4x plus 13. Now, if you chose to write minus 4x, that's perfectly fine as we look at there. Just in a review from the previous page, second degree, so that's quadratic, three terms, that's a trinomial. Let's look at our next one. On this one, we have a minus sign, so we need to do a little bit something different before we start the problem. We're going to need to distribute that minus sign to the back half of the problem. So minus x cubed minus 7x, and minus a minus 4 is a plus 4. Now let's group our like terms. 2x cubed minus x cubed. 5x squared, no other x squareds. Minus 7x, no other x's. Plus 3, plus 4. Now let's combine them. These two combined together, that's 1x cubed or just x cubed, plus 5x squared, minus 7x, plus 7. And there's our answer. Remember, when you have a minus sign, to distribute the minus to each of the back parts of the triangle, or the back parts of the trinomial. Let's look at our final one in this lesson. Once again, we have a minus sign in front of the back parentheses. So let's distribute our negative. Obviously, the first parenthesis doesn't change. Minus x cubed again, minus 8x squared, and minus a minus becomes a plus x. Now we group. 5x to the fourth, no other fourths. x cubed, no other x cubes. We have plus x squared and minus 8x squared, and then a plus x at the back. So our final answer is negative 5x to the fourth, minus x cubed, minus 7x squared, plus x. Now, one of the things we're going to be working on this chapter is learning our perfect squares. You all know your perfect squares 1 through 10, and that's pretty safe to say. On the next page, we're going to write those down very quickly. So let's move to the next page, and let's just take a look at what these perfect squares are 1 through 10. Obviously, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, 6 squared is 36, 7 squared is 49, 64, 81, and 100. Some of you may not know the next three squares, and these are the three squares that I'm going to need you to learn by tomorrow. 11 squared is 121. Easy way to remember, 1 plus 1 is 2. 12 squared is 144. And our last one today is 13 squared. You always know the back number is 3 times 3, that's a 9, and I like to remember 3 plus 3 is a 6. Now that doesn't work for all of our squares, but it certainly does for these first three. 1 squared is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4, 2 plus 2 is 4. 3 squared is 9, 3 plus 3 is 6. 
So it's a really nice way to remember these first new three squares. We're going to be learning the squares this chapter through 25.